Galaxy chat has now uh, devolved into a bait about the debate about the uh, definition of onomatopoeia. <laughs> And I'll leave you all with the thought about what onomatopoeia actually means, but while you hold that thought, next up we are just about ready for our Osu showcase, uh, containing our runners CRISPR and Eric PR46, so uh, take it away. Alright, hello, uh, my name is CRISPR, um, I'm joined here with my friend Eric PR46, say hello. Hi, I'm Eric PR46. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be showcasing Osu Mania today. Yeah. This is not a speed run, as you have been seeing today. <laughs> this is just a straight up showcase. We're going to be showing off different parts of the game, as well as um, just like cool little things. Yeah, uh, we, we're going to go through a bunch of different skill sets and uh, yeah. kind of just show off all the stuff we can really push the game to. I got Archie here. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to start with a uh, really easy song. Um, basically, just to kind of explain the game, you'll just see notes falling down the screen. And I have to hit uh, one of the keys on my keyboard correlated to each lane <laughs> for the notes. Um, it's a really just simple song just to start out with. Um, there's a, a judgment system in this game. Basically, you may have like played Guitar Hero at some point, and in that game, it just matters if you hit the note or if you don't hit the note, and that's it. But in this in this game, it's different. There's a, a judgment system that shows you how accurate you have hit the note, and you can see that by the, the star in the middle of my screen. Sometimes it's rainbow, sometimes it's gold. Uh, the rainbow one is the best one. Um, I'll kind of play a little bit bad here, so you can kind of see that there's some green ones and blue ones too. Uh, that just shows it's like not that great accuracy. Um, to be precise, uh, the rainbow note has a 32 millisecond timing window. Um, the regular gold note can vary depending on what the actual mapper has set it to, but it's a wider timing range and the goal is to get as many rainbows as possible, of course, to get the highest score. Uh, at the end of the song, you'll see what we call the ratio between the golden and regular stars. You can't, like, uh, you might think that you can just spam the keys and, you know, just hit the notes that way. But, uh, yeah, I'll just spam the keys now and you'll see I'm missing every note. <laughs> so you can't, you can't do that. You have to actually hit it perfect. There, there is a timing window uh, beneath the note where if you hit it too early, it will it will lock you out basically. It'll register as a miss, yeah. Um, but Osu is a is a game uh, categorized. Uh, we call it a VSRG, a vertical scrolling rhythm game, where notes scroll vertically and you hit them to the rhythm, and it's a game. Um, I've been playing Osu uh, for close to nine years now, and Chris, you've been playing for. Uh, Three, say, three years? Two, two or three, something like that. I can't. I lost count. Something like two and a half years. So in the previous song, all you saw was the regular notes. These are these ones are pink. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're called long notes. So you have to hold them in. You may be familiar from some other games that have a similar type of uh, mechanic. Uh, and this game has a s kind of special mechanic on where you have to release the note at the perfect time as well to get perfect accuracy. Uh, some other games you can just keep holding it in, you don't really have to worry about it as long as you're holding it in, but this uh, release timing is very important. Uh, if you release too early, it'll count as a miss. If you release too late, it'll register as bad accuracy. So you'll get like a green or a blue judgment. Uh, as for this map, I actually made this map <laughs> with uh, the help of one of my friends, Ballistic Bubba, another uh, prolific mapper in the Osu Mania scene. 
Yeah, CRISPR is a CRISPR is a pretty experienced mapper at this point. Uh, he's been mapping for about as long as he's been playing, not too long. About two years, started. yeah. And has has multiple ranked maps, uh, which is a good time to say. Uh, there's really three kinds of maps you'll see in Osu Mania: uh, ranked, loved, and unranked. Uh, ranked means you can get performance points off of it when you play it, and basically, uh, yeah, to give you ranks in the game to yeah. show how good you are. <laughs> Loved maps are just community uh, loved maps that uh, don't give you ranks, but they have leaderboards. And then unranked maps obviously don't have a leaderboard, they don't give you performance points or anything, they're just songs you can play and download. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but my accuracy is in the top middle of the screen, just in case you were wondering what that number was. Um, the uh, warning sign at the top uh, blocks off the score a little, but you'll be able to see the score at the end of each song um, when he finishes. Uh, but I, I would uh, I would confidently say that you are a uh, we call them LNs for short long notes, a long note okay. player. Uh, you kind yeah, of specialize so. in that. I would say so. They are they are my favorite type of map to play, and make, and make. You, yeah, all my maps have are a lot of long maps. Maps. <laughs> Yeah. So, this game, if you are ever interested in getting into a rhythm game, it's this is like the perfect game to start with. It's free, um, and it also has quite easy maps. Like that one's kind of difficult actually, but there's maps that are even way easier than that. Uh, so if you're wanting to get into a rhythm game. It's it's the perfect game to start with. It really is the gateway drug. Yeah. So we're gonna step up the the level a little bit here. Yeah, we were just playing like a, a low two star, maybe close to three star map. We're now on a four point five star map. And you'll see the difference pretty immediately. What do you mean? This is an easy map. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is even easier than the last one. Clearly. I uh, I'm I'm actually Doing a little bit of joking. This, yeah, things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that that was certainly a pattern. Um, pattern so of all time. A pattern of all time. Uh, so when when we play this game, uh, it's not really like we see each individual note fall down, and the second it hits the receptor, we hit. We kind of have our eyes locked in the middle of the screen, and we're we're reading the song and breaking the breaking all the stuff we'd see down into patterns. Yeah, that's uh, actually a really good uh, thing to bring up. Is the most common mistake people make when they first start playing rhythm games in general is they'll look at the bottom of the screen, the note receptors, and they'll try and like line it up with the receptor and do it that way. But my eyes are pretty much locked on that combo on the star thing. So if you put your eyes there, it's a lot easier. Uh, and uh, these patterns get more and more complicated. So I'd I'd categorize this song as kind of a jump stream stream kind of hybrid map. Um, like these patterns are what we call streams. They're very loose, like uh, straight across sort of patterns. They sort of flow oh God, really is... well. Uh, and uh, I guess we can start breaking down a little bit of terminology. Yeah, because uh, I have the jump stream section coming up soon, so go ahead with that. Yeah, so the next song he's actually going to be playing are called Jump Stream. Uh, now, in a song, sorry, in a game yeah, like. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> in a, no, you're good. In a game like Dance Dance Revolution, uh, where you're hitting the, where you're hitting the notes with your feet, the only way to hit two notes at once, at least at a basic level, is to jump. Uh, so we call patterns that include uh, uh, patterns that include two notes, like next to one another or in the same row, yeah. jump stream. Uh, well, no, 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 it's not quite. <laughs> so a stream <laughs> is a stream is just a bunch of like single notes, just a bunch of you know really fast single notes would be a stream, mm -hmm. a i.e. a stream of notes. Yeah. Uh, but then the jumps, as Eric explained, are two notes. So jump stream is the product of that, where it's stream with jumps. 
basically. We have Summer uh, so End next. Summer End is next. Uh, this game has all sorts of music genres, so if you don't necessarily like electronic music or anime music or something, it's not only that. There's a bunch of rock music and metal music if you like that, or it, weird it, music. It really <laughs> has everything. It's got everything, yeah. You'll the, be able to find something. A fun game to play is to have a friend just like name a song that they like, and you just type it in, and you'll you'll probably be able to find someone mm -hmm. has mapped it. So you two are able to tell us more about the incentive, the uh songs on the that we have set up for you? Um, yeah, uh, the incentives, uh, the incentive bonus songs are gonna be really cool. Uh, we wanted to show off pretty much all the, like, broad, most, like, normal, uh, skill sets throughout the showcase, but the incentives are gonna be really cool, niche, little sub-skill sets that you wouldn't really apply too much, uh, in your normal day-to-day -day game, but they're, like, really flashy, really cool-looking, uh, stuff we've, like, practiced a lot. And then uh, at the very end, there's a Celeste theme surprise uh, that CRISPR actually mapped himself for me so that yep. we could play. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to miss it. Uh, it'll be it'll be really really cool. And we get some we get some more Celeste. How can we say no? Celeste. So if you want to see some more cool stuff, go donate. <laughs> $53 away, but we have some time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you can see throughout this song, uh, there are these streams of notes, and every once in a while it's broken by a set of two notes. And like I said, we call that jump stream, because if you had two feet playing the game, you would have to jump to hit those notes. Luckily, we have four fingers. Yeah, we can play a lot faster than any DDR players ever could. That makes Osumania the superior rhythm game. Truly. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> the the faster you can go, the better the game is. Surely. True. True accuracy. Just play the fastest song you can ever play. <laughs> uh, but speaking of DDR, like I said, uh, Osu is kind of a gateway drug to other rhythm games. Like through uh, through Osu, I discovered games like Sound Vault Hex and. Uh, reconnected with DDR because I've been playing DDR for years and years. And uh, CRISPR, you've also been playing a lot of Sound Voltex recently, right? Yeah, I just came back from Japan, so I was in <laughs> Rhythm Game Heaven. I have Pump It Up, uh, uh, My My, uh, Ongeki, all sorts of rhythm games there. And I fell in love with Sound Voltex, so I've been playing a lot of Sound Voltex. Um, my uh, my experience from Osu Mania helped quite a bit. <laughs> I I was also in Japan. Uh, we actually met up for a month while we were there, and uh, yeah, it it is rhythm game heaven. And there is no Osu. Osu is a PC only game, so you know you go to an arcade. And I was I was killing it on Sun Voltex, not as much as CRISPR, but DDR and on Gaki, all the games. Uh, it's really a. It's really a. If Osu doesn't really suit your fancy after playing it for a little while, you'll probably find another rhythm game to fall in love with. Oh, there you go. Nine point nine one accuracy. That was really high accuracy. All right. So the next song is what we call in the community a stamina map. Um, <laughs> so if I really quick, I'm just gonna go into the editor to show. Um, this red stuff on the right is the density well, we graph. Might not be, we not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's seeing it? Okay. Yeah, it's uh, seeing it. The, the stuff on the left is a density graph, and it's the whole song is red, as you can see. Red, <laughs> is, red is the hard part, so the whole song is the hard part. Uh, this this is a, this kind of map tests just how long you can just push buttons for. Um, it just doesn't stop. Yeah. And, uh, it's, I might not it's... talk that much during this song, because I do need to focus. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so this is once again a jump stream map with uh, actually some chords thrown in. Um, so this is much denser than what we were seeing before where pretty much uh, every quarter note you're seeing another jump. Um, 
and then when I said chords there, uh, chord is a set of three notes hit at once, uh, also known as hand stream. Uh, the reason we call it hand stream is because if you have two feet and you're playing uh, a dance game, the only way you could hit a third note in a traditional sense is to hit it with your hand. You bend over and you smack the panel. Um, We've come a long way since then, so you don't have to use your hands nowadays, but <laughs> yeah. back um, in the old days you did. Me and Christopher are actually already talking about doing a showcase next year where we play kind of the more uh, niche rhythm games that we like, like he would showcase on Voltex and I would showcase Dance Dance Revolution. Um, but that's a year away, so we'll talk about that later. Uh, how, how are your hands feeling, Christopher? A little bit of burning. <laughs> This is a this is the workout of Osu. You know, you can yeah, you can this... play as many one to two minute songs as you want, but you throw a four to six minute song your way, you'll feel it. There's just no breaks. Generally, stamina maps will have like it'll be like two minutes straight, and then you'll have like a thirty second break to kind of rest. This song does not have a break. Um. Well, yeah, this, uh, we've got a little bit more of this map. If we have any donations, uh, now would be a perfect time to read them, but... Well, what I can tell you about is, uh, the cause that we are donating for, the Trans Empowerment Project. Yeah. Yeah. The Trans Empowerment Project works to ensure that the community has access to, uh, the most basics of needs, like the Transitions Program that provides direct aim at the forms of food and grocery delivery, clothing, hygiene products, HRC assistance, temporary housing, and much more to uh, all these trans people in 2022, the project provided over $7,000 to over 220 people. So yeah, it's a oh. cool cause. And also, if you want to see more OSU, <laughs> just been talking about all the great things that they're going to be doing, go donate. It's going to be really cool, I promise. I've been practicing the crazy maps, so... Yeah, Please. so have I. Um, I, I want my map that I mapped to be shown. <laughs> <laughs> the Celeste map? Yeah, the Celeste map, yeah. Um, okay. Looks like it's gonna clear up. Almost done with this gauntlet of a map. <laughs> I'm sure your hands are uh, really feeling it at this point. Yeah. Um, you're seeing some, uh, some of what we call jump trill. Um, obviously, uh, well, maybe not obviously, but a trill is just hitting uh, two notes back and forth, maybe with one hand or two hands. A jump trill is what it sounds like, you have two jumps going back and forth uh, across the screen. Uh, and songs will typically use that as a method of draining stamina. <laughs> because yep. uh, hit, hitting them for long periods of time oh. get really tired. There you go. Ow. But 99 accuracy, I'll take that. Pretty good, yeah. Not bad. Very solid score. All right, so that ends the jump stream block. Um, next is the speed block. So we're gonna be playing speed maps, and everyone knows this song, right? <laughs> Gotta play some caramel dancing. Um, uh, the song does have jump streams and uh, hand stream and stuff as well, but during the uh, chorus, you'll see the speed part. Um, speed kind of comes back to the fundamental like just streams skill set um but it's just streams no jumps or anything yeah, but really single, fast yeah just single notes a lot faster and it's like my other skill set that i'm good at long notes and speed which are else both, okay yeah those are both my like i cannot do those skill sets i'm not good at i'm not good at speed and i'm kind of mediocre at ellen so i, I <laughs> Christopher okay, here's the speed part, and also everyone sing it in chat. Oh. Uh, I, 
I don't know how he hits this. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of amazed. Like, I would not be able to hit <laughs> one screen of these nerds. <laughs> how many minutes this is? Well, the thing to emphasize is we all started at the easy maps. Yeah. It just no, it no. takes years to get to this point, so... If any of this is even interesting in the slightest, I recommend to just give it a try. It's free, you know. And look for your favorite band and try and play a song and you can map from your favorite band. Absolutely. And uh, it's really satisfying. But yeah, you can really see the emphasis on like these like streams of notes that uh, don't really interlock in any way. They're just like dense, dense like layers of streams. These patterns are pretty complicated to hit. I, I find that they're complicated to hit for me because I can't discern too much of a pattern out of them. I'm very much a like pattern player. Hey, I'm a pattern player too. They're easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. <laughs> All about that manipulation. I'm gonna cut in and uh, talk about this uh, bonus songs incentive because it hasn't moved in the last 10 minutes. And uh, I think we all wanna see the more content. More Osu, more Archie Thon, more charity. So come on, chat. We can do it. That was pretty clean. Um, so, speed is always a little harder to accuracy on. If you can believe it, that was the easy speed map. <laughs> <laughs> it this does get harder. harder. This one's harder. I love this map, though. This is uh, a Raven Tales Curse, correct? Yeah, Raven Tales Curse. Um, this map is actually pretty infamous in the uh, VSRG, Vertical Scrolling Rhythm Game community. Um, it got its uh, claim to fame in uh, Eterna, which is another uh, game very similar to Osu, just a different game, basically. Uh, yeah, this map is game. super old. Yeah. Like, how, how old would you say this map is? Eight years, probably. At least. Yeah, at least at eight least. years old. Um, but, I mean, it stands the test of time. It, uh, it is just a classic difficult map. Um, but there there are other um, games that are very similar to Osu um, like if downloading a game from a website doesn't sound very fun uh, there's Quaver which is uh, run through Steam um, yeah. all of its skins and stuff are run through the Steam, Steam Workshop uh, Quaver has its ups and downs, it has its own ranking system and everything, and same with Eterna. Uh, Eterna you get from a website, and it has its own ranking system and everything. Uh, Eterna is generally for the much more hardcore players. Uh, like the, the hard part, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the part was what, the easy part. <laughs> what you just saw was the easy part, sadly. Yeah. All right, see you on the other side. Good luck. So while you uh, try and deal with this, we have a uh, $20 donation from Chuckles saying, I want to see that bonus songs encore, Long Live Archie. Long Live yeah. Archie. Thank you Long for the donation. Keep them coming. <laughs> we have a $20 donation from Anonymous saying, Osu for trans rights. Good luck to both of you all and much love. Let's go. Let's trans go. rights. <laughs> Trans rights. And we have a $20 donation from Gagabin saying, let's see that pass. And <laughs> if you donate towards the bonus song, any money donated towards this bonus song on Core Incentive will also go towards the TAS. What are you waiting for? We've got, what, 30, about 37 minutes left to get this uh, donation total yeah. to 300. Let's just say the encore will basically be the B side of what we're doing right now. And we all want to play the B side. Everyone who knows the B sides are more fun. Well, Maybe not more fun, music. but look <laughs> looks cooler. <laughs> There's the better music. 
<laughs> no, uh, 6B was always my struggle point. Whole game is my struggle point. Can I get to 2000 combo? That's the question. I believe... It's going up fast. Uh, CRISPR is probably... CRISPR is probably hitting close to like 25 to 30 notes Ooh. per second right now. Which is a crazy number to think about. If you count to 30 in your head, you have to do that in under a second to hit the actions per minute that he is doing right now. Uh, the, the speed at which this game goes is kind of phenomenal at times. $20 dono train I'm seeing in chat. Yeah, dono train. <laughs> CRISPR is holding combo like a champ right now. And especially thinking about the fact that his arms are probably really tired right oh, now. Oh yeah, they're dead, dude. They're noobs. <laughs> no. No. Hey, that combo, that means you hit like... 3,000 notes in a row without missing one yes, or something exactly. like that. A, a lot of notes. I only missed five notes in that whole song. That's incredibly <laughs> impressive. Um, that was pretty decent, yeah. although I did choke the 99 right at the end. Although that score beat my 99 score, so nice. I'm happy with that. All right. Sure. Next up is a different skill set entirely. These are called jacks. And the reason they're called jacks is, if you can imagine, a jackhammer. It's that yeah. my fingers are basically being a jackhammer. So the notes are coming down in one column. Uh, yeah, Eric, you explain this. You're probably better. Than me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, jackhammer is a great way to, to say it. Um, the most important thing about jacks is staying on time because usually the, the jacks will follow the exact BPM of the song. Um, if you can stay on time, it's really not too far from like uh it, and a long note uh but you're hitting a note on time so like once uh we get to a slightly denser part of this song you'll see like the map is full of these jacks uh but you're kind of picking the time that you're not hitting jacks um if we didn't make it clear enough the jacks are the notes in like the the same column that are yeah. Like repeated notes in the same column. So your finger has to come up and down to hit that. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, hit that note. Like open over like again. I said, staying on time is the most important thing. Yeah. Especially, especially in the skill set, because if you fall off time on even one of your fingers, uh, not only could it trip up your other fingers, but remember what we said, if, if you miss a note uh, by pressing too early, um, you can no longer press that note again, and it will now open up the timing window for the next note to be hit early. So let's say you start hitting one note early, and you keep trying to hit on that like column of jacks, you'll end up missing the whole thing. We call that uh, we call column that CB rock. rush column. Yeah. Uh, I really like the slower deck maps like this, um, because they're very easy to get good accuracy on. Yeah. My accuracy kind of sucks right now because, I, well, I mean it's 99, but it's uh, <laughs> it kind of is not as good as it could be because uh, I missed earlier. But uh, there's I think, a lot of think, rainbows you might see, which yeah. is the highest. More importantly, it's easier to get a, a much higher ratio on these kinds of maps. Yeah, ratios. I mean, yeah, so a lot of a lot more rainbows than there are of the gold ones is what ratio is uh so now we're gonna do another jack map uh which is a lot harder this one's a bit faster and this hell oh, quite a bit faster uh i'm probably not gonna be able to talk that much during this so, uh, later. <laughs> so this song uh, exhibits what we call dense chord jack uh where 
most of the map is comprised of sets of three notes um, followed by another set of three notes, uh, maybe in the same column, maybe in different columns. But you see, you'll see some set of three or four notes. Um, four notes even would be called quad jack. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very dense and a bit faster than the last song. I think the last song was closer to 100 BPM. Yeah, this is 100 exact. This is 130. Uh, so that's a 33% increase in BPM. Uh, and jacks scale the hardest with BPM. Yeah. Uh, Just a 5 BPM difference makes like actually a big difference to jacks. You have to. It really does. This. You have to like bounce your hand in a very specific way and you can't hit past a certain BPM that just like that bounce that just doesn't work anymore. There there are serious cases where I can get a 95 on one jack map, but if I bump it up by 5 BPM, I, I can't pass it. Uh, it's just too fast. And it's a... Uh, Sorry, oh. go ahead. Oh, Alright, we have a uh, $7.27 donation from Anonymous saying, isn't this a funny number? Let's get that on for. <laughs> when you see it, when you see it. Oh my god, did this one donate $7.27? <laughs> yes. Uh, what is $7.27? <laughs> oh uh, no. <laughs> let's just <Can't> say, <laughs> when you see it, um, it, it was a... O2 meme, basically. Uh, Someone a long time ago uh, got 727 performance points on a song, and then maybe uh, two months later tried the song with a harder set of mods and got 727 again, and people started memeing on it, and then someone really pushed it by getting 727 on a map and then freaking out and pointing at his screen freaking saying, when you see push. it, when you see it, 727. So these are now the long note maps. Uh, if you remember the long notes from from before? These are very heavily based on long notes. They're my favorite type, types of maps. Yeah, we're gonna see um, what could be considered like technical release maps, where um, not only is it focused on holding the notes, but uh, making sure you're releasing these long notes at the right timing, uh, because that that plays a big role in what kind of accuracy you can get on long note maps. But CRISPR is crushing it. This is, uh, this is definitely his favorite skill set. Yeah, release maps are my favorite for sure. I don't um, know why they just click. CRISPR, you were a you were a musician for a very long time, right? I am. I am. I do play guitar and drums. Uh, now this isn't to say that you have to be a musician to get into rhythm games. I, oh yeah, no, I've absolutely never played not. In it. I've never played an instrument in my life, and we're, we're at similar skill levels. Might help uh, in certain things, though. Yeah, just uh, a little bit. Yeah. Um, some of these LM maps are really cool. They get so dense um, that instead of you know focusing on when to press a button, you're actually always holding down four keys, but you're focusing on when to actually release the buttons. These are these are called inverse maps for obvious reasons. Um, and I think uh, your next map might show off a little bit of yeah. inverse. The next map definitely does have some inverse in it. It has a lot of things. The next map is like, oh, these commits. Uh, <laughs> the next map is like the boss map. Let's the boss map of his half actually. All right, we have a twenty dollar donation from Anonymous. Just saying, get it. I mean, we are getting that. I'm getting. I'm clicks. getting it. Let's go. He's on. getting it. Getting it. And we have he a definitely... one dollar donation from uh, Chuckle saying, if everyone in chat donates a dollar, we'll get the encore. One dollar train anyone? And then you, we get to we get to see the B side. B side of Osu. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, you'll see. Oh, you <laughs> will crazy. see. Honestly, it, it's mind blowing the kind of accuracy CRISPR can go on these kinds of maps. Like I'd play this same map and I'd barely get a ninety-eight. You're you're hyping me up too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the boss map per se. 
Reverence uh, flower. That that last map I just played, if it looked hard, was 3.9 stars. This is 6.1, so it almost double the star rating. Star rating is like the difficulty. Uh, kind of tells you how difficult the song is. Yeah, it can give you it can give you a a basic feel of how difficult a map is going to be. It has some quirks though. Uh, like speed maps are usually uh, what we call underrated. Where they have a lower star rating than what they really feel, um, and that's just because Osu's difficulty calculation isn't perfect. It's a, uh, it's based on a uh, an algorithm that the, is internal within the game. You don't really set that manually, and you can really only manipulate it by adding or removing difficult sections of a map. <laughs> um, so yeah, already we can see this is a much much harder map, um, way way denser. Uh, with these inverse sections where, like I said, you, you're pretty much constantly pressing your buttons uh, and just releasing notes whenever there's a gap. Uh, it's really hard to get good accuracy on these kinds of maps. And any of these pink notes you see are long notes, so they have their own uh, press and release timing. So, like, even when you see these short ones, you have to, you have to know how long to press these notes. Uh, I say it, it probably comes with time, kind of learning how long to press and release these notes on reaction. You know, you, you can always. Yeah, I never. I don't think about any of the shit that Eric's talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just see note and I play. I mean, the gameplay speaks for itself. I guess we haven't really talked about it, but none of this is memorized. Yeah. It's, it's all just reaction based. Obviously, you can warm up on a map and kind of know what to expect from it, but yeah, there's yeah. no way you're going to remember the placement of well over 3,000 notes that are within this map. Uh, like, the most so... you'll probably remember is a song does some crazy, weird pattern. And. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Nice, that's a PB. Um, it does some crazy weird pattern, and you're like, okay, I have to remember that for next time. But that's it. That's all you ever would remember. Uh, cool. I got a PB. Well, okay. Well, I, I got an accuracy PB. <laughs> uh, that is all for me. Uh, Eric, did you send a message? Um, I did just a second ago. I was a little late. But um, I'll get my screen share going. Uh, yeah, a PB is still a PB, even if it doesn't it is. say so. PB in some way is still a PB. Yeah. Uh, so well, we have, yeah, 24 minutes to raise 75 more dollars to get this bonus songs encore done. That's so, pretty close. Pretty uh, close, but we still have to get there. So just let me know when I'm ready to go. Yeah, that was that was all for me. So Eric is now. Eric is now up to play. Um, when it, whenever that switches over, I think it's ready now. Oh no, it's still on press, but never mind. <laughs> I'm right, looking at me. the stream, so it's slightly delayed. All right, so oh, coming yeah. over to my section, uh, we are going to start off with a song called Quadra Phoenix. Um, we're pretty much jumping right into the difficult stuff over here, and Quadra Phoenix uh, focuses very hard on. Uh, and stream. Uh, so you'll see a lot of these chord patterns and uh, a slow intro, but we'll get into it. This map was the bane of my existence when I was first playing Osu. It is, so it is pretty infamous. It's so hard to just wrap your, your head around these types of patterns. Funny, this map is probably 10 years old, but it only just got loved like two years ago. Um, but some people play it on upwards of like 1.5 and get decent scores. Um, and that's a pretty good start into talking about rates if you want to mention that. I will. I will first just say that the first thing you probably will notice is that 
uh, Eric's skin is completely different. Uh, he has like his circles are completely different. His skin's all decked out in Hatsune Miku. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fan. Uh, yeah. So you can make this game look however you like to fit your reading playstyle. You can make the notes into bar notes or arrows, so it looks like DDR or uh, diamonds or Minecraft blocks or whatever you want. You can do whatever. Um, but yeah, going back to what Eric was saying, uh, rates. So a lot of times a mapper will make a map, right? And a player will plays that map and thinks it's a bit too slow for me. So or they, even a bit too hard. Or even a bit too hard. It could be, it's not quite in my skill set, whether that be too easy or too hard. So there's a program uh, out there that lets you uh, make a new rate uh, of the chart. Basically, either speeding it up to like 1.2 times speed or 1.4 or something like that. Or you can also slow it down if it's too hard. You can put it down to like uh, 0.9 or 0.8 or something. And uh, yeah, that's that's rates. Is this 1.2? Oh, uh, this is 1.1. 1.1. So the part of thing is one point. I think that was a PV. <laughs> Let's go. Um, right off the bat. Uh, okay, so next we are getting into a little bit of tech. And tech, uh, we haven't talked about much. So tech is an interesting skill set because it kind of uh, breaks the whole pattern philosophy. Like, you're not going to see too many consistent things throughout this song. It really just throws the whole kitchen sink at you, but yeah. in a broken way. Yeah, tech is just... Let's just make the player super uncomfortable. That's that's what we think when we make tech maps. It's just... And it's, a, it's one of my, like, little specialties. I'm not the best at it, but it's one of my favorites. It's usually filled with mini jacks. So we discussed jacks before, like the jackhammer thing. Um, but mini jacks are very quick jacks, just like, just like one one after the other and that's it but they're super fast so you have to be like really on the ball to hit them i suck at mini jacks but eric is pretty good at them we'll, we'll be saying a, a bit of some well, what i call speed jack in a little bit where it's just mini jacks as fast as possible um this song is called uh, reluctantly uh, accepting temporary over exhaustion. Um, the music CRISPR showcased uh, pretty normal. I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing a bit more of the esoteric side, but like like we said, you can find any music in this game. Um, so next up, I got uh, a fun song uh, during Pride Month? <laughs> Question mark. Let's go. Um, this is going to be focusing way more on like the sort of dump tech that we call, um, where it's like just a bunch of notes at once and no like discernible pattern. You just got to hit them. Yeah, dump is kind of a funny name, but also uh, instead of like placing a long note to accent the vocal, which is usually how the maps are done. Uh, Dump would instead put a bunch of regular notes, like a stream of regular notes, uh, to kind of give the player the feeling that they're playing like the pitch of the vocal. It, it's very, uh, it, it gets really crazy um, with what the mapper decides to do with it. So it can, it can be anything, honestly. Um, and then this uh, also highlights a little bit of mini jack. I think these mini jacks are like 180 BPM. But uh, I just I, I really enjoy this map. I really enjoy this song. Uh, this is a genre called Daria Core. <laughs> if you haven't heard of it before. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, this game has every genre in existence. So <laughs> whatever whatever music you like, this game has it. So. If you want to play your favorite song, highly recommend it. Just a reminder that we are still $75 away from us bonus songs on Corrin Center. You have eight. Yeah, getting close. Yeah, getting close. 
super close and not much time left so got 18 minutes or so left Sadly, I might have to omit one or two songs uh, from my half of the showcase just to meet time. But um, we'll see what we got to do. Um, so that was during Pride Month. We're going to jump right into a, another famous song. It's not the map, but it's a song. Uh, Made of Fire. Um, so we were talking about Jax earlier and how you have to be kind of on with the uh, BPM. Chris, we're playing 133. I'm going to bump it up to 161 or 162. Yeah, and this song famously has something called Long Jacks. Uh, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, just, you know, jacks that are long, a, a lot of them. It, it, it's, you would think it'd be like the same, but it's like the longer the jack goes on, your, your hand really gets tired after like, maybe five or six and so when it just has like 10 of them in a row you're like yeah your hand gives out but eric's a beast he's got this <laughs> this song also is famous for uh another good meme in the uh the srg community <laughs> there's a, a that funny poor video monitor. Where, uh, yeah, there's a funny video where a guy like smashes his room apart while playing this song. Already has a hole in his wall, puts a yeah. hole through his monitor. He yeah, he famously breaks his monitor to this song. Very funny video. Well, close to a PB, probably could but... find it by just looking up like "Made of Fire," "Step Mania," or something like that. Um, okay. So okay. now we're going to get into some visual gimmicks. Oh. Okay. So uh, this is Kamiari Algorithm, but you're going to notice something a little different about it. Um, what we call our receptors, where you have to hit the note, they're gone now. And I, I have to play with the beat. And as you notice, as the combo gets higher, uh, I see less and less. It's going to cap out at around 500. We don't need to see. We don't. We're rhythm gamers. We play to the rhythm. So this kind of puts reading to its limits, um, where I now have to really focus and kind of just concentrate on the pattern I just saw and remembering that I've got to hit it at the bottom. It's It does kind of reinforce, though, what we were saying earlier about um, that we're not reading at the bottom. Oh, your absolutely. eyes are down at the bottom, like you can't. You're, you're doing you something wrong. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. You have to read. I mean, this one, like the hidden mod, uh, tends to go a little bit too high for me personally. Um, yeah, um, I actually, I actually used to play with hidden mod baked into my skin, um, but just a bit lower, and that kind of forces you to uh, read from the top instead of the bottom. It's kind of like training wheels, but if you know anything about training wheels, uh, you can't use it forever. So the other really annoying thing uh, about the hidden mod is if you ever happen to miss, uh, it goes from the top all the way down to the bottom, and then your eyes get all screwed up. You have to adjust your reading. So usually I wouldn't recommend playing with the hidden mod. If, if you do like hidden, I would recommend it baking it into your skin, like Eric was saying. Um, that way you can really tailor it to your specific tastes and it doesn't move all over the place. Alright, so we have a uh, two twenty dollars donation from an island. Let's go! But it's going towards this bonus software for. And we have a $15 donation from Archie saying, so let's see the Oh! And let's that was an go. FC, right? Oh, was it? Oh, oh one oh. miss. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Look. Um, <laughs> next up, we got good tech. And we're going to do another visual gimmick. Um, this one uh, is called flashlight. For a reason. Yeah, if you couldn't see anything before, now you really can't see anything. Are you on 18, by the way? I'm on 18, yeah. Um, that brings up a, a good point about scroll speed, if you want to talk about scroll speed a little. 
Oh yeah, scroll speed. So you might notice Eric's uh, scroll speed. Uh, the, basically, the, sc the scroll speed is how fast the notes are coming down uh, from the top. So Eric's scroll speed is a lot faster than mine. That's just how he prefers to read. I like a slower scroll speed. Uh, it may be because I am a musician, and generally musicians uh, rely more on the rhythm, and Eric is more of like a reactionary play style, so he'll see and play. That's it. Yeah. Um, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Both both have their own uh, merits. Um, so whatever works for you, just do that. Um, but with the flashlight, you generally have to reduce your scroll speed quite a bit uh, because you're not able to read at the top like usual, right? So you have to read it yeah. in the middle and you only have like a split second to really see it. So if it's if it's flying past that, that, that little window, then we can't read it. So you have to reduce the scroll speed quite a lot to be able to read it. It is still very much like not easy to play it this. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I say that while playing it pretty flawlessly. Oh, never mind. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's also not an easy map either. Uh, I saw somebody in chat say, isn't 30 scroll speed the cap? Uh, no. Uh, the scroll speed is actually 40 is the cap. Um, I've never seen anyone use 40. Uh, 30 is pretty common, actually. Somewhere, like anywhere between 27 to 30 is pretty common. Um, the highest I've ever seen a player use is 36. And that is the top number one player <laughs> uses that. <laughs> Um, so. All right, so we have a very special map. Um, this is another visual gimmick, but unlike what we just saw, uh, this is playing with what's called the storyboard of the map. And I know nothing about storyboarding. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, might know a little more. It's very. Um, so you you kind of have like I don't really know much about. It. I've never done it, but I kind of know a little bit about it. Um, you have like sprites, like little images. Um, and you have to animate all the images inside the Osu editor. So you might be seeing like the the rain, the, the, yeah, the raindrops and stuff. Uh, each one of those is, like little images that the uh, storyboarder uh, animated inside the editor. And all like the clouds and stuff. That's all an image. So it's it's just like manipulation of images in a really cool way. You make some really pretty maps. Yeah. I think this map is like really cool, especially the part coming up pretty soon. It takes like a really interesting turn. Let's go evil the mode. Map, the map is angry. <laughs> it's angry that we haven't hit the incentive yet. It's gonna be so angry, it's gonna leave us. <laughs> Pay oh. attention, what's going on here? Let's go! That part's so sick. <laughs> Do you want to just reiterate that it's only $40 away? So we want to play these extra songs for you. <laughs> we Let really us play do. The songs. Let us play. You have eight minutes left. You can all of chat. Raise forty dollars in eight minutes. I, Come on, I, I believe. Yeah. That's my chat right there. I know my chat can do it. Let's go. It's only forty dollars. Nice. Got the FC. Let's go. That was really Jeez. clean play, honestly. Okay. Um, we're gonna do something a little special. Uh, we're gonna play a seven key song. Uh, this is something I'm not very good at, but I love to uh, to showcase. 
Um, there are seven keys skill to uh, seven keys skill ceiling is way higher, like so high. Um, but it's always a fun thing to show off. Yeah. So in uh, OC Mania, there are like, a bunch of other key modes. Four key and seven key are the most popular. But it, I mean, it it goes from one key, which is you know usually hit space bar, uh, and all the way up to well, it depends who you ask. If, if we're There's asking, a the, key. yeah, if we're asking the ranked maps, then it goes up to ten key. But if we're actually asking how many notes it goes up to, it's eighteen. And you might immediately think how you don't have eighteen uh, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> And on contraire right. <laughs> you'd be right um, generally people will uh, use the number pad for one hand and kind of go up and down the number pad uh, and then just kind of a similar situation with the left hand going up and down the you know like Q, W, E, A, S, D and so on and so forth and just kind of going along different rows to hit those keys but we are not that big brain so we have to resort to just 7 key So Eric, uh, it's it's a bit of a different mechanic here. The the red note in the middle, uh, Eric has to hit with the space bar with his thumb. So it's really like awkward to get used to at first when you first start seven key. Um, but it gets pretty fun when you get used to it. Okay, we have a ten dollar donation from Carl saying, "Keep shredding my bros," and another ten dollar donation from Chuckles saying, "Let's keep the party going." So twenty dollars down, twenty dollars to go. Come on, that's guys, a, we can do it. Twenty dollar bill right there. That's it. That's all that's left. That's a, oh my! I just saw another one. Maybe a five dollar bill. Maybe. Um. Hey, Christopher, how much time do I have left? Uh, about five minutes. Okay, I'll do the the boy right after this. Maybe a little less. Four, four and a half. Okay, that was uh, Chick Habit, 7 key. We're gonna get right into the box song of uh, my half of the um, showcase. Uh, this is Catch the Glory, a song specifically made for the tiebreaker grand, or the grand finals tiebreaker of the Catch World Cup, which is another mode in Osu. And uh, every year they do tournaments, uh, they do World Cup tournaments for each game mode. And this song was specifically made for that. Um, but we have a we have a real boss chart adapted into Osumania for it. Yeah, and I'd like to inform you that we have now met this incentive. We Let's go! One dollar vapor go. from vapor. A, a, a one dollar vapor from donation. Yes, saying but I love you, you agree. I love every single one of you in chat. From Yoshi Pro saying the show must go on. A Eight dollar donation from Alana saying for the encore, O seven. An eleven dollar donation from Lizalina saying, "Do what I doing what I can." Um, Christopher, if you want to DM Revo and saying that the second this song is over, they can switch to you. Um, so this song is a six-minute non-stop gauntlet of pretty much everything we've shown you today. You've got speed, you've got jacks, you've got cord jacks, you've got jump stream, you've got LNs, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be along for the ride. My arms are gonna be burning by the end. We'll probably see my heart rate go up a little bit. Yeah, congrats, Chad, on meeting the Encore incentive. We now get to see, uh, is it both of you or is it just, uh... It is, it is both of us. We'll both be playing two extra songs. Neat. And it's very different than what you've seen so far. We thought we showed a lot, and we haven't even begun. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part is you get to hear the special song that I know. Just for this, just for Archie Thong. All right, we're getting into the uh, real meat and potatoes of this song. OK, 
Okay, we have a ten dollar donation from Pick saying Encore with three exclamation marks on the end. So very exciting things are about to happen. I promise we'll make it worth it. It's really cool. cool. All right, coming out of the first section pretty well. Pretty happy with that. My arms are feeling it a little bit. Just power through the pain. <laughs> That's honestly like the best part uh, of Mania is, well, putting it simply, it's doing things that you didn't think you could do. Um, really just pushing your limits. Yeah. So you know, our arms and fingers and wrists and the whole thing it definitely gets tired. We're not, <laughs> we're not superhuman, but we have to uh, just kind of put that to the side and focus on doing the best we can, you know? We've got more speed back here. Love this. All right. The song is also a banger. It really is. They knocked it out of the park. Stop. Okay. <laughs> and if you think it's no, over. As soon as I say, as as I say it's going to give you breaks, it's like, oh, here's a small break. But uh, yeah, no. And it's just kidding, and then it's right back to it. I didn't mention we've been playing like five, four, five, six, max six star maps. This is the penultimate seven star map. Yeah, in uh, Mania, Corky, um, currently the highest ranked map is actually eight stars. It just got ranked. It's the only eight star that's ranked. But so generally, seven stars is like the highest. Except for one. One outlier. But other than that, everything else is like seven stars or lower. So this is pretty near the top in terms of difficulty level. Oh my god, I got like this. Oh yeah, my that's god. A huge that's PB. A massive PB. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh we I've been can switch on that for a while. We can yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically since uh, that was 366 performance points. Alright, we're good to switch to CRISPR. Um, to start this uh this final bit of the showcase. Just somebody, let me know when I'm live. And while we're switching over here, we have a seventy-two dollar seventy-two donation from another. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Just saying, I see it. Seventy-two, seventy-two. All right, so I'm actually re uh, I'm watching the live stream now to see how many times I missed because. My plan was to, uh, whatever I missed on that song, I'm going to donate. Um, so, dude, I'm... imagine 727 misses. <laughs> oh, gosh. There we go. I'll be donating $74. Oh, 74. In a little bit. All right, Chris, we're good to go. I am on. Let's go at me. All right. So, this song is called Mephane, and it's. It's crazy. So, if you want to explain SP, because I got to. Yeah. Um, so, 
uh, SV, I believe in OC terms it's called uh, slider velocity, is basically changing, forcing the game to show a different scroll speed. Um, yeah. And it's going to slow down, speed up, or even do what we call like note teleportation, <laughs> where uh, you need a lot of map knowledge to understand how to play this map, how to hit all the notes, how to, and that's just to hit the notes. To get it accurate, you have to be on top. You have to understand the song. Yeah, it's um, not, the stream is not lagging. This is how it actually looks. It really is. And that's that's the most important thing to reiterate. Like, it looks how on the stream exactly how it looks to Crisper right now, and he is somehow reading this and getting good accuracy. I can't do this to save my life, but Crisper is a different animal. really just does look like it's lagging, but... It yeah. does. <laughs> it's not. It's, just it's not. That's what I'm seeing. It is just making it as difficult to read as possible. Also, this song is a banger. We're, we're, we've been trying to hit it out of the park with these uh, last few songs. See, and something like that, you know, if you're just playing this map for the first time or you don't really understand the map, there's no way you're going to be able to hit that teleport. You have to be ready for it. You have to understand how it comes down, which notes come down. It's really impressive. And Christopher put a lot of work in learning this map so you can display it here. Oh, 97. That is super good. I'll take it. My PB is a 98 flat, so that's pretty good. I'll take it. That's my third best play on that. Hopping into Fuego. All right. Now on to Fuego. Similar similar uh, style of map. Yeah, more SV. Uh, let's see if I can get the 99. I have two 99s on this, <laughs> so we'll see. I think Eric, you have like a 91 or something. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at SV. <laughs> I try my best, but I'm. See this? When I said like musician does uh, being a musician does help in a couple things, this is one of them. <laughs> as a as a reactionary player, I try to react to everything yeah. I see, and reacting to it teleporting down isn't the easiest. You can really hear in this song like how uh, on time he's hitting all these notes that look like they're just like flinging down at the receptors. These types of maps are really cool because they often, like that stuttering effect, often emphasizes the actual sounds in the song. SV mappers are something else. Same 
Oh, oh my god. No! Let's go! <laughs> so close. All right. What do you mean so close? I got it. I got the you got the FC. That's incredible. Oh, the ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I got the FC. <laughs> Good enough for me. Full combo. All right, and now uh, we can switch yep. back over to Eric. Just waiting for uh, the uh, for, for the, the for the go. The rest, the rest of the uh, showcase. Or the last two, play. the last two songs. Are they both uh, that style? Yes, I'm gonna do Vibro X Vibro and uh, yeah, the last song. Just, uh, just... Yeah, the showcase has just been amazing showing off all this uh, mode Osu has to offer. It's not even the only mode of Osu, this is just one part of the game. You're this all is seeing. just one part of the game. Okay, that's it. Good to go. I sure. think I'm good to go. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. So this is a uh, uh, this is called Vibro. Yeah. You're gonna so notice Vibro, on my... it's in oh, the name, yeah, but yeah, it's in the name, but uh, yeah, Eric's hands are literally vibrating. Um, this is a, a pretty special skill. Not too many people really take the time to learn it. Um, I've tried to learn it, and I can't do it. it. This is a this is like a skill issue type of thing. I can't do it. So if you remember the made of fire play, that was 162 BPM, and that is like the very upper echelon of what I can hit normally, um, what we call wrist jacking. Um, anything above that, I have to vibro, which vibroing is simply tensing up my entire arm and forcing my hand to vibrate. Um, the special part about it is saying, okay, I'm going to tense up in a way that makes me hit 170 BPM. Here we go. I mean, this really speaks for itself. <laughs> bad i'll take a 92 and 93 let's go um but yeah that that's that's what vibro is um it is really just to hit the fastest jacks possible um and here's the surprise uh we're actually playing b side uh, of let's one go. we're gonna play one b and uh crisper map this yep just I for the event I, uh, since like i was just in japan as i mentioned earlier and so i mapped this while I was in Japan <laughs> for the event. I was like, CRISPR, I have a great idea for the showcase. <laughs> this sure is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that last map was 170. This is 182, which honestly is just a little bit above my comfort zone. So I'm going to be really pushing myself to hit this. Good luck. I, I was not uh, nice when I mapped this. <laughs> I was like, I could give him a break here, but I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't stop. No breaks. Oh my goodness. Now, now you get a break. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, since you're vibroing, um, you know, you have to tense up your entire arm, both arms, and that generally leads to tensing up your entire body. <laughs> and so you, you, there's like a lot of moments where you just don't breathe. <laughs> it is it is the most tiring skill set, in my opinion. I love that you have your heart rate monitor in. <laughs> you can just see it going up and up and up. <laughs> yep. He's trying to hit 170.
Oh. Let's go. The, the nice ending. And, uh... Thank you all so much. This has been Ozumania. Um, like, like we said, it's super easy to get into this game. You just download the game, download a couple maps, get started. People will help you. The community is pretty good. And uh, honestly, shout out to CRISPR for mapping that. Shout out to CRISPR for just being a friend. Uh, I got CRISPR into this game like three years ago. And, uh, you know, it's been history. Um, Shout out to everyone watching. Shout out to my boyfriend who's sitting back here watching the stream right now. Oh. Um, and thank you all so much, uh, Christopher. If you if you have anything to say, but uh, um, I just want to say everybody in chat looks super cute, and <laughs> thank you for getting us to the uh, incentive. Yeah, thank you uh, so much. That is amazing, especially for a really good cause too. So, um. Yeah, I guess that's it for, for Osu Mania. Uh, thanks again for everybody watching. And uh, play the game. <laughs> Thank you Bye, everyone. for that awesome showcase. It was great. Thank you. Yeah. Might inspire right. some people in chat to maybe start their Osu journey. Let's go. Alrighty. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>